Warning, this state just issued mass gun confiscation, America in danger. With the stroke of a pen, the state of Oregon lost its status as a free state, and you haven't heard a word of it on the mainstream media. Two weeks ago, defenders of the Second Amendment faced a crushing defeat when their drive to take down the state's new extreme risk protection order failed to gain enough signatures to put the issue on a voting ballot, reports OPB. While riots tore apart Charlottesville and North Korea tested nukes, you probably had no idea that America quietly lost all of its rights in an Oregon courtroom. The state's anti-gun law was passed in August of this year. The repo is nothing short of an act of pure evil, thinly disguised as an innocent, well-intentioned measure to keep madmen from going on shooting sprees, just like every piece of anti-gun legislation. How does it work? The Oregon law will allow any individual, from police officers to friends or family, to ask a judge to bar someone from obtaining firearms or buying ammo, and force them to give up all the weapons they already own to authorities, a gun shop, or another qualified third party. That's not even all, the law will also grant authorities the power to infiltrate, search, and confiscate from the targeted individual any firearms that were not surrendered in the initial confiscation within 24 hours. Not only is this a violation of the Second Amendment, but also the Fourteenth Amendment, all persons born or naturalized in the United States, and subject to the jurisdiction thereof, are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. No state shall make or enforce any law which shall abridge the privileges or immunities of citizens of the United States, nor shall any state deprive any person of life, liberty, or property, without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. Any person in the community, if they believe you pose a threat of violence, can call upon a judge to take drastic, tyrannical action against your property and livelihood. The few media outlets who reported on this atrocity tell us that judges would never enact violate the rights of a gun owner without good reason, but that's a dripping, poisonous lie. What judge in his right mind would not sign off on one of these sick gun grabs? Every judge in Oregon will know that, if he refuses to give this order, and it really does result in a shooting spree, he will be utterly tar-feathered and disgraced by the public. They'll be ordering gun grabs at the drop of a hat. What even constitutes a risk? The liberal colleges are teaching students that dialogue is violence. Too many leftists actually believe that the ideas of conservatives are a threat to their existence and need to be shut down. Expressing any conservative beliefs to the wrong person could end up getting your home raided. But here's the thing it wasn't a lack of support for gun rights that allowed the Democrats to win. The vast majority of Americans are strong supporters of the Second Amendment. Democrats used a legislative trick to place a tight window of time, less than two months, for the appropriate number of signatures to be gathered. The new law will be put into action January 1, 2018. That will be the day of reckoning for gun owners in Oregon, if the rest of America does not soon fall, and fall.